Well, we have done swapping two numbers using a temporary variable. How can we do this without using a temporary variable? It is not a big deal. Let us see how to do that. The logic behind swapping two numbers without using a temporary variable is that our first step is we have the variable x to which we will be summing both the values say x and y that is our two variables we are adding it and we are storing it in x now x will have the sum of both the numbers next we are finding the difference between the sum of both the numbers and subtracting y from it so when we subtract y from the total sum of the numbers we get the value of x so the result of x minus y will be x itself and we are storing this x in y so y will have the value of x at this moment the value of y will be x and next the value of x in our step 2 will be the sum of both the numbers so when we move on to our step 3 x will be nothing but the sum of both the numbers and y will be nothing but x so when we subtract the value of y again from the total sum of two numbers that is nothing but x again from the sum of total two numbers we get the value of y and we are assigning the value of y to the variable x so now our values of y and x are interchanged let us explain this with an example so that you will be clear if I am taking my value of x to be 7 and y to be 4 then our first step is that we have to add both the numbers and store it in x so 7 plus 4 is nothing but 11 and I am storing it in my x and further in our step 2 we will be subtracting the value of y from the total of two numbers that is 11 from 11 if I am subtracting my value of y that is 4 I have the value of x as a result and I am storing my x in y and further at this point the value of y will be my x and the value of x is still the sum of both the numbers in my third step I am subtracting the value of y from the total that is the sum of two numbers so my current value at step 3 will be 7 that is nothing but the value of x and when I am subtracting y from the total I get the value of y as my result that is 11 minus 7 will give me 4 which is nothing but the value of y and I and I am assigning this to x so as you can see at the end of the logic we have a value of y to be x and a value of x to be y it is pretty simple right applying the same logic in your program we have to include the standard libraries as first and then we have the main function which will be executed we have to get the values that is both the values from the user so for that we are writing a print statement and a scan statement to assure that the user has entered two values we are printing the numbers before swapping them and then comes our logic that is a is nothing but the sum of both the numbers and I'm assigning the difference between the sum of both the numbers and the difference from B to be B so that gives 
the value of a to be assigned to b and further the value of a will be nothing but sum minus the current value of b that is nothing but a so when i am subtracting a from the sum i'll get b again so that is assigned to your a so at this point of time my a and b will be swapped so after this we have to print our swap values that's it this gives the swap two numbers